Oh, Canada, you're so close, but so far away. We're just the same, but different. And today we're gonna showcase that by making two classic things we know, fries and bacon, but the Canadian way. Stay tuned. Make sure to watch till the end when Sam gives his famous food review. Hello, bonjour and sorry, eh? I'm Brian Hoffman from eatthisny.com and with me as always is my son, Sam. Sam A? Sam Blah. Sam Blah is his name. We are continuing our adventures going around the world in one kitchen. Ah! Oh! So today we are going to a country that is really close by. What country are we going to today, Sam? Canada. Canada? Canada. Canada. Do you know how big Canada is, Sam? Canada is like that big. It's the second largest country in the entire world. So we're actually gonna make two dishes today that are similar to what we know, but made a little bit differently, made the Canadian way. We are making the famous poutine. Poutine are like french fries. Do you like french fries? Yeah. No, you don't eat the potato by itself. No, but you put it in my ear. In my ear? Oh, like, hello, potato? Hello? So the other thing we're making, bud, is pea meal bacon. Have you ever had pea meal bacon? No. You've had bacon? You like bacon? Well, in Canada, they make a different type of bacon. Do you know where Canada is? Uh, it's just north of here. It's, it's just, it's up. To get there, you go up in the sky and then you go north. Do you remember a few days ago we cured the pork ourselves? Well, we gotta go back in time. I sense a flashback coming to when we cured the pork. So here we are. We are a few days ago. So we're making what's called a cure. Do you know what curing means? No, curing means you take the meat, you put it in salt for a long time with flavor so it gets all of those flavors. Do you know some of your favorite things are cured? Salami is cured. Pepperoni is cured. Bacon is cured. And what? Rice isn't cured, but you like rice. Why meat on it? Uh, to make sure that the, the meat doesn't go bad. This is the curing part. Okay, put the pink salt in. So just a little bit goes a long, long way. Bay leaves. Bay leaves, very good. Put two of them in there. Stir it up. These have a very strong smell. Do you like the smell? I don't know if you do. Cloves. Garlic. Garlic. We can't make any type of Canadian bacon without this. Does it look like anything you know? Soy sauce. It's not soy sauce. It's something you eat on your pancakes. <laughs> maple syrup. In Canada, bud, they make a lot of maple syrup. So we want to get maple. Ooh, that's going to be yummy. Sweet. Sweet. That so there's like an, ocean. an ocean of maple syrup, huh? So we're adding lemons. One recipe I saw called for lemons. You really can put anything you want into the cure. I think this is going to be better because it has maple syrup. But you know, we have to wait five days. So why don't we flash back to five days from now? Let's go. Oh, so we're back now. We've been soaking it in water, remove the salt. And what we're gonna do with the pork is we're gonna roll it in cornmeal. We wanna get this cornmeal all over that pork. See how we're getting it all over? We wanna make a good crust. Okay, is it all over now? So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put this in the refrigerator for a little while to let it all come together. They do, what we're gonna do is we're gonna slice them up into french fries and then we're gonna fry them two times to get them really crispy. Do you like crispy fries? 
No. Oh yeah, those are eyes. These do look like little people, don't they? Hello. Hey, I'm a. I'm from Canada. I like to play hockey. Oh, I'm from Canada. I like to eat maple syrup. Um. Hi, I'm from America. I have stereotypes about both of you. Do -do 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 -do. Do -do 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 -do. Is this Canada calling? Is this long distance? Nowadays, nothing's long distance, but calling Canada in the old days used to cost a lot of money. There's lots of variations of poutine. You could put anything on top. Bacon, jalapenos. Popsicles. Popsicles? Yeah. On poutine? Maybe. You do like cheese curds. Good job trying something new. Sometimes they fry these, they bread them. Uh-oh. Now that I've gotten Sam to try the cheese curds, I'm not gonna have any left for the poutine. You wanna try a piece of this? Not a little piece. Not a little piece? Oh boy, Sam. Ah! How about we try this? It's good? That one hundred million times the zillion star. One hundred, I didn't even lost, lost count of that. Mm. Canadian food's good, huh? But it's even better with the gravy and the cheese curds. That gravy came out really, really tasty. So I also ordered something special from Canada for you to try, Sam. These, if any Canadians are watching, they know what this is. Sam doesn't read yet, so you can't quite see what it says, but you can figure out they're chips, mm -hmm. yeah. And you notice it's in French and English. That's how everything is in Canada. It's in English and French. English. That's English, that's what? French, that's right. You can only find these chips in Canada. Mm. These are ketchup chips. Whoa. Whoa? Are they, are they red? Let's see. Whoa, show the camera. What color is that? Red. Really red. That's what? Um, that tastes like ketchup. Tastes like ketchup. Do you like that? Mm -hmm. Oh boy. Are we moving to Canada? We're moving to Canada. Thank you to our friends up north in I Canada. Did a 1, at yeah. mm -hmm. I lost I don't know what all that means, but but we'll take it.